we do now have the tools to end the HIV epidemic. Before there was COVID, there was HIV, and roughly 9,000 people living in Minnesota are living with the disease, with about 4,500 of them leading healthy lives thanks to the Ryan White Act passed 30 years ago this month. About 50% or a little bit, slightly over half of people living with HIV in America receive services through the Ryan White HIV AIDS program. With advancements in treatment since the 80s, extending the lives of those impacted by the disease and limiting transmission. People who are virally suppressed, do not transmit HIV to their sexual partners. Leaders with the Hennepin County Health Department are making it a priority to keep HIV testing at the forefront during this pandemic. Testing has actually gone down because of COVID. Specifically, among some of the hardest hit communities and certain ethnic groups. COVID has really illuminated um, health disparities, particularly among um, indigenous people, um, communities of color, black, both U.S. born and, and African immigrants. With HIV testing down, health officials say they are seeing treatment numbers going up because people realize there is a danger of getting COVID if they are HIV positive with a weakened immune system. One of our goals is to get as many people who are eligible for Ryan White programs into our services so they can achieve those better outcomes by benefiting from the services. For Care 11 News, I'm Devon Roming.